Hello, my name is Kaylee and I'm here to help you uh, figure out this problem. The problem states convert the concentration of 0.7 molarity sodium sulfate to grams per milliliters. Now, I'm hoping that you have alarm bells going off. Whenever I see this, the molarity, I think of this equation in red. So it's molarity equals moles of solute over liters of solute. I have rewritten this molarity equals moles over liters. The things that are underlined are here. I just added the 0 0.07 from the problem. So now we've got this is equivalent. When you see this, I'm hoping that you see that 0 0.7 moles over one liter equals 0 0.7 molarity because anything divided by one is itself. So we've created a fraction that is equivalent to 0.7. And that's all this is. We're going to take this piece of information now and we're going to get moles into grams and liters into milliliters. In my opinion, the bottom part is the easiest. The first thing we're going to do is we know that hopefully you know this memorization fact that a thousand milliliters is one liter. So we can rewrite this fraction with a thousand milliliters because there's one liter. If it was two liters, this would be 2000 milliliters. Now we have the job of getting 0.7 moles of the sodium sulfate here to, into grams. And hopefully you've been doing that some. Um, we see that problem right here. It's 0.7 moles of the substance. And when we do that, we usually set it up in dimensional analysis like this. I'm going to be short just to, for the sake of this video. That, well, actually, I don't know. Maybe I better not. 2SO4 over 1. Then I do what I call the automatic three things, and I put moles of NaSO4. Sorry, can't talk and write at the same time. And we're going to want grams of Na2. SO4 because when we do that we're going to be able to cancel these two out and be left with grams. So hopefully you've learned that one mole of this compound is equal to breaking this up. You see there are two sodiums. So we've taken the weight. Hopefully you can see the uh, periodic table parts of it down here. Sodium 22.99 times two because there are two of them equals this. We took uh, sulfur, there's only one sulfur here. So we took its weight on the periodic table, 32.07 times one, we get this much sulfur. For oxygen, we have four of them. That's why we're multiplying by four. And on the periodic table, oops, I was thinking I had a different periodic table. One of my other ones says 15.99. So we could stick 16 in there, just know it's the same. All right, I did use 15.99, my apologies. But um, that's how much four of the oxygens are. When we add all this up, we get this number and this memorization, or, well, not memorization, but we get this fact from the periodic table. So now we know one mole of Na2SO4 equals this many grams. So do you see now we can put that here? One mole of the substance is 412.01 grams. When we do this math, and I would encourage you to double check my work, I get 99.407 grams of Na2SO4. All right, so we're at grams. What did we need in the original problem? We needed grams. So we're going to put that here, 99.407 grams of Na2SO4. And then we can just simply divide this, yeah, and we'll get grams per milliliter. When I divided this, I got 0 0.0994 grams per milliliter. Now, I would encourage you to check and see about significant figures. If that's an issue in your class, you can see, and I didn't even write it correctly. I should have had two zeros here all along, but technically we have three significant figures here. So we should at least have this many here, maybe cut it off there. Okay. But I would check with your teacher and see if that's something that you have learned. Um, and I hope this helps you out. Have a great day. Thank you.